Now since our building is complete, let's take a look at how to create a couple of sheets for our project. So to do that you scroll down the project browser, go to sheets, right click and say new sheet. And then it's going to ask you to load a title box, so I'm going to load one. Um, go to the USM view and scroll down to where it says title box. And all of this needs to be in 11 by 17, so I'm going to select 11 by 17 and say open. And that's going to be the one that's selected and say OK. That's your sheet and you can go and modify this. Um, I can double click and edit some of these, like for example if I don't want this I can remove that and maybe um, put in an image that I have bring in something very random and this could be a logo where is that And uh, these we we're not we're not going to change any of these. That's it. Uh, so you load into project. And, uh, I'm not going to save this. I'm going to load the project to. I'm not going to save the changes. Just load it. All right, existing, and that's it. And uh, we need to go into manage and then go to project information and change some of the things. So it is a receive. And uh, you can change these as well. Uh, project issue date. of the information of the drops and building. There you go. Project name um drops number is gonna be one. Okay. And all these are gonna be updated. At least these these are not uh, some of these are but that's it. And um, then what you do is you start adding your Levels. So I'm going to add my level one floor plan here. So that seems to be. So we need to go change it to one sixteenth. There you go, and uh, the sugar go into our sheet now. This is our sheet. And that seems to fit at least for the most part. And I could probably move these uh, down the head so that everything fits as it should fit once you're done with it. And then to make this smaller. And let's bring this there. You go. Okay, once we delete or remove the AutoCAD file, um, 
these should not be there, so that's fine. Um, and maybe just position it a little bit. And uh, make sure that your uh, elevation markers are showing up. And uh, like that, you can create your uh, plans. So maybe even rename this. It's going to be global. So, and that's that. Then you can create another one. We'll duplicate this. So we can duplicate it. Uh, well, maybe you just need to create a new one. Uh, I'll shoot that. There you go. And uh, this could be your venture plan. I think the same thing you need to go here and uh, change the scale to 1 16th. There you go. And go back. position it and we need this as venture plan which layout of venture plan where it works. So in order to make this line shorter you just need to select the entire drawing and then just bring it in. There we go. And uh, like that, you can add your um, ceiling plan. Uh, we don't have uh, lights yet, so you might want to add ceilings. Uh, we haven't looked at ceilings, so just add ceilings and a couple of ceilings, and then you can add components like lights. You can go ahead and add lights to wherever you want. That's going to be your ceiling plan. So you can drag and drop it onto another sheet, and then you'll have your ceiling plan. Um, then you'll have your elevations here, your sections. Uh, you need two sections, so cut two sections across. Then you'll have your two sections there. Another thing that we didn't do is uh, we didn't create <coughs> a topography. So on the site, you should probably go in and create a topography. How you do that is going to massing at site, top of surface, you just click throw corners and that creates your topography. Finish it off and if you go into a 3D view, you should now see your uh, ground line. This is important when you create your elevations and sections, your ground plane should um, should be visible now. As you can see, uh, there is an issue when you go in. Your top surface might go through. So what we did was we changed the height of the top surface. Uh, the last time what we did was we changed the height, or what we did rather, what we did was we changed the height of the flow. So um, like from offset, let's do uh, about three inches. That should work. Yeah, there you go. That that should work. So you have your top of surface and then maybe you can add side components as well. You can add a couple of trees. Uh, however you see fit, just add the trees. Maybe in a more, uh, more logical pattern. I want to add some trees. So that's your uh, top of surface and then when you go back to your level one, uh, create a section like so. You double click on it, you get this nice uh, soil line and the ground line. That's uh, that's pretty good. That looks uh, pretty good. Yeah. And uh, those are your sections. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to probably talk about uh, rendering now. Uh, you can get renderings. I don't have to explain how to create renderings with Enscape. Uh, you can already do that. The only thing that I probably should talk about is the, the walkthrough. So let's talk about the walkthrough in the next video.